Alright, let's keep rolling. Chem 110B, Chapter 9, Solubility Rules and Precipitation. These are found on pages 141 through 143, ex uh, exercise 9C. Remember, you can't do these problems unless you memorize and know how to apply the five solubility rules from page 141. Here they are. Page 141, see, page 141, and there are the rules, the precipitation reactions. Real quick, rule one says that group 1A metal cations or the ammonium cation are soluble. So anything that contains those is going to split up and dissolve into those individual ions in water. Rule 2 says that any of those minus 1 charges anions, nitrate, nitrite, perchlorate, chlorate, acetate, or hydrogen carbonate, anything containing those are soluble. Rule 3 says that chloride, bromide, and iodide almost always make soluble compounds except when they combine with silver plus 1, Hg2 plus 2, or Pb plus 2. Rule 4 says that sulfate ions and sulfite ions are soluble except with those three guys again plus the larger group 2As, barium plus 2, calcium plus 2, or strontium plus 2. Those ones make precipitates with sulfate. Okay, and then rule 5 is the one where we talk mostly about the precipitates. All of these guys like to make precipitates with anything unless one of the other rules applies first. Apply the rules in order and you know how to do this. You have to be able to do this without seeing this. So we're not going to see it. Let's see if you can do these problems right here without looking at the solubility rules. If you have to look, then you're not ready for the test. End of story. Also, you also have to be able to look at a compound and split it up into their individual ions and then put the ionic compounds together from those individual ions. That's all chapter 3 stuff. If you're not good at it, you better get good at it. Okay, so what compounds would precipitate if these aqueous solutions were mixed together. There, there, and there. Mix those together. What precipitates would form? That's number A. Number B is those, that's, and that. Mix them together. Figure out all the possible combinations. And then decide if any of them make precipitates. Hit pause, try it, and come back. Pause. You tried it. Now you're back. All right. So let's look. Well, if you can't figure out what these are, these ions, you're in trouble. Vanadium, that's in the middle, you can't tell. But nitrate is a minus 1, so the vanadium is a plus 2. Sodium is always a plus 1. Carbonate is always a minus 2. Silver you even remember that, right? It's plus 1 from the solubility rules. And then ClO4 is a minus 1 because that's the cation and that's the anion. If you're having trouble being able to do this this fast, that's where Chapter 3 comes into play. You better catch up. Okay, so what do we do? To get all the different possible combinations, we put the cation with each different anion the cation with each different anion, the cation with each different anion. So V plus 2 plus NO3 minus 1 makes the V NO3 2. The vanadium with the carbonate plus 2 with a minus 2 makes V CO3. Vanadium plus 2 with ClO4 minus 1 ClO4, two of them. It's just like with the NO3 minus 1, same ratio. Those are all the possibilities if vanadium plus 2 is the cation. What if sodium plus 1 is the cation? 
Sodium plus 1, NO3 minus 1 makes NaNO3. Sodium plus 1 plus carbonate minus 2, well, it's that, isn't it? Na2CO3. What about Na plus 1 plus ClO4 minus 1? That's a 1 to 1 ratio. NaClO4. Those are all the three possible combinations with sodium. Last one, Ag plus 1, NO3 minus 1, AgNO3. Ag plus 1, CO3 minus 2. It's the same ratio as the other plus 1. So you sort of don't have to rethink it. And then that's that one that's left. Okay. Now that we have all the possibilities that could possibly be made, we have to go through our decision-making process. And it's a process of elimination. Rule when one says which ones you can you eliminate. Well, those are all the group 1As. So that's rule 1, rule 1, and rule 1. All of them are soluble. So they don't make precipitates. They want to know which would precipitate, meaning insoluble. OK. Rule 2 talks about nitrate ions are soluble. So anything with a nitrate, anything with a perchlorate, all those minus 1 ions, those guys, by rule 2, by rule two, and by rule two, are in are soluble and won't make precipitates. Okay, so now we go to rule three. Does anything have a silver? I'm sorry. Does anything have a chloride, bromide, or iodide here? Nope. So there are no rule threes. What about rule four? Is there any sulfates? Nope. Okay. So the last one is rule five. And rule five says carbonate will make a precipitate with anything at this point after rule one, two, three, and four have been ruled out. So that's one of the precipitates. And that's the other one. And that's the right answer, those two. That's it. See how it's a process of elimination? If you know how to write ionic compounds and you know how to apply the solubility rules. Alright, let's do B. About the same deal. Split these up into their individual ions. K plus CO minus 1. Na plus NO3 minus 1. NH4 plus CO3 minus 2. Okay, now let's put them all together. And by the way, you should already know your answer. If you know the solubility rules, you know the answer. But let's say you're still not sure. K plus with NO3 minus. Notice that the K plus and the Na plus, they're not going to make a compound. Why would they? KCl is that one. K with CO3 makes K2. CO3. Two pluses for every one minus two. Na with NO3 is there. Na plus Cl minus NaCl. Na plus CO3 minus 2. Na2CO3. We already saw Na2CO3 up here. Shouldn't be a surprise. Ammonium ion, NH4 plus 1. With the Cl, that's a 1 to 1 ratio. And with the NO3, that's a 1 to 1 ratio. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Those are all the possibilities. Notice that the problem said solutions of this, this, and this. So already you can eliminate those if you're slick. But let's just apply rule 1. Rule 1 applies to everything, and none of them make precipitates. The answer is none. There's no reason why you have to make precipitate whenever solutions are mixed. There's no reaction that goes on here at all. Simply dissolving. And that's the only thing that happens. Okay. 
that's the systematic way of taking care of your business. You know what you have to do.